Okay, so today we're going to be making um, layered meat pies. And uh, it's pretty classic in northern China, usually, you know, their land of like big dumplings. Um, and so this is essentially dough where you'll have um, a very like thin layer of dough, then you'll have a thin layer of filling, thin layer of dough, thin layer of filling, and you kind of crisp it up, you pan fry it so that it's more or less like a bigger type of dumpling, but with a lot of flake. Um, in between uh, and I, I I like this style of it just because I like like very uh, crispy type things um, and I also think it's a really neat way of how to be making these layers so we're going to start with making the dough first So I'm just going to start off by dissolving some instant yeast in some lukewarm water. You want to make sure it's all dissolved so that it evenly spreads out uh, throughout the dough. And then I'm adding in some all-purpose flour as well as some salt. Recipe is all going to be down below. with the filling, um, usually the meat is spread on raw on top of the dough before you cook it and before you fry it. Um, but because we're working with mushrooms, there's gonna be a lot of liquid here. We are actually going to cook the filling first just to get rid of some of that moisture and then um, we'll spread it on top of our uh, dough. This looks like a lot of mushrooms. It was right around a pound, maybe 400 to 450 grams. And I'm just cooking off some of the water because there's so much water uh, to the mushrooms, but I don't want them to be super dry either. I want them to be a little bit moist uh, for the filling. Uh, before I put in just a ton of, um, <laughs> a ton of flavoring uh, ingredients. So you saw I had some of the spring onions, some ginger, I have some Sichuan peppercorn, the Chinese 13 spice that you all can substitute for five spice, um, you know, uh, soy sauces, uh, sesame, sesame oil, sugar, salt. Recipe is all going to be down below. But also, if you're open to it, you know, just some barbecue sauce if you want or, or whatever seasoning you want. Uh, the thing is, these mushrooms are mimicking minced meat. So whatever textures, whatever flavors you want in your pie, you can feel free to put that, and that's including other vegetables um, as well.
So you want to let that filling cool since you don't want to be working with hot filling. And I'm just going to take my risen dough, I'm going to knead it out a little bit and then divide it into three balls because I'm going to be making three pancakes. Um, I'd say the pancakes are medium sized but you can definitely go smaller if you wanted or maybe even two larger sized ones. So now time for assembly. This is a very uh, neat way of how to build those layers. I'm going to be using just like a basic circular method today. It creates four layers, but I have seen some people roll out the dough into a big uh, long rectangle and then you can kind of cut it up and even build more layers um, on top of that. But I'll show you guys this, um, this more easy uh, method. So there are different methods as to how to cook the pie. This one makes the outer crust a little bit more crunchy. So I'm just frying it on kind of medium heat, not too hot for two to three minutes each side, just until it gets nice and crusty and then um, crunchy. <laughs> uh, and then I'm putting it into a 350 degree oven for right around 15 to 20 minutes, just to make sure that everything cooks inside.
so I hope you all enjoyed the recipe. You can definitely, you know, feel free to use whatever, you know, mix or, or filling that you want. Even, even like a sweet filling uh, would work for this. So uh, yeah, I will uh, hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again next time. Thanks.